Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren. Today, I'm in my new house. One of the first things I'm going to do from the new house for the channel is build this new PKTX charcoal grill that I got. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, also what you can tell, I guess, from the garage, the way it looks, we're still in the middle of unpacking. Um, I still haven't had my deck built on the back that I need to get all my grills out there. So I can only put one or two grills out there. I've got the Camp Chef out there already, but I want to have a charcoal grill out there. And I do have my Kamado in the garage, but um, I've got it buried behind a whole bunch of boxes. So it gives me an opportunity to put this PK together. If you guys aren't familiar with PK grills, very popular on the state competition circuit right now. Um, most of the guys that are winning the uh, competitions use the PK grill. And it's aluminum, cast aluminum body, uh, clamshell type grill. They've been around since the 1950s. Uh, they kind of went out of business for a while back in the uh, 80s and 90s, but another guy bought the company and resurrected them. And they're very popular right now. They get very hot. They're really good as smokers and grills. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. This is the PKTX, which is a portable um, model that has, comes with a cart. They also have the original, which has a cart that doesn't fold down. This particular one folds down, so it's easy to take um, you know, to a uh, football game or to the park or something like that. So... I got this for that reason. I want to be able to take a grill to the park or to, uh, you know, tailgating or something like that. Uh, and I really didn't have a portable grill at all. And to take a portable Kamados are kind of heavy, but this has a nice folding cart and it's really easy to take around with you. They also make one that's a PK uh, 360 that costs a lot more and it's got side shelves. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit fancier, but this one's going to work for me. Uh, I got a really good deal on this on Amazon, um, happened to stumble on it, uh, they only had that deal for like one day. They normally sell for $450, I got this one for under $300 delivered through Prime on Amazon, so I was really happy with that, that's one of the reasons why I snagged it up. So, alright, enough boring stuff, I'm going to start breaking this down, taking it out of the box, showing you what I'm going to do, then I'm going to build it and show you what it is. I'll be right back. All right, guys, you're going to see there's a couple other videos out there of these uh, grills. And there's a couple of them that are unboxing. Uh, Harry Sue has one that he just did recently, and there's a couple others that people have done recently. So I'm not going to really um, go through as much as they did. I just kind of want to show you how it comes in the box. I mean, this is pretty much how the box came from Amazon. Um, like I said, these are cast aluminum, so they last a long time. They're very uh, durable. Uh, one of the things, first things that comes out here is the, the uh, uh, charcoal grates. So this, this particular one's got both the grates in there. I'm going to put that to the side. Don't want to do anything with that until we get it put together. First thing out on top is the... Uh, lid one of the things i like about these uh, grills is the hinge is not a separate piece it's kind of built into the base and the hinge where they just kind of slide together so there's no separate pieces that you have to oil or uh, maintain or have any kind of issues with them breaking it's all part of the lid and part of the base and they just kind of slide in together and i'll show you once i get it all put together how that works so it comes with um, the handle here, the manual, some screws, a little welcome to the club, fire and smoke club society. It's got uh, all your parts lists on here and everything. But this is, like I said, this is cast aluminum. I got the silver one because that was the one that was at that under $300 price range. And said so it's 
very well built, very solid. Don't have to worry about rust. Like I said, it's cast aluminum, holds heat really well. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of this out of the box. I'll be back. Well, that's it guys. There's not very many parts to it. You got your top, you got your bottom, and you got the cart. So a couple bolts here and there. We're gonna put this together and I'll be back and go over it with you. So that's it. You got three or four pieces in the box. Very uh, easy to put together. So probably take me less than 10 minutes. I'll see you right back. All right guys, in about 10 minutes, it's all ready together. Literally, you just need Phillips head screwdriver, pair of pliers, and it comes with an Allen wrench to tighten the uh, wheels down. Um, but it's very simple. Everything kind of snaps into place. The instructions are very easy to read. Um, and this is what you come out with. The uh, top fits right onto the base and literally it just lifts right off. And you put it right back down in place. And then when it's back here, whoop, put it back down in place. Set it exactly where it fits tight. So that's it. I mean, it's really easy. Like I said, this uh, stays in place. Just got to make sure that it's in the right spot and it stays right in the spot here. It goes down into the grooves. It comes with a stainless steel grate that has a uh, movable top here so you can add more fire or more charcoal or more uh, smoking wood. The uh, charcoal grate is regular steel so uh, from what I understand that will get a little rusty and you might have to replace that every once in a while but the top one is stainless now you can order a stainless charcoal grate I think they're uh, extra and you can find them either on Amazon or on PK's um, website the uh, little side cart table here slides in and out um, mostly f that is for when you uh, want to break the cart down I'll show you that and it's really easy so when you want to break this down to move it you just slide your cart up to the front this pops off lifts right off the uh, cart you fold this up and you can lay it down just like that put your cart on and put your uh, grill right on it and the cart has four little rubber um, four rubber uh, gaskets on here that you can take and um, put um, bungee cords on it does not come with the bungee cords but bungee cords hook on there so that you can have it hooked so it doesn't move so if you got it uh, going to be moving in a long distance or in the back of a truck they're right on here they got little holes on them and they strap around they'll strap this down but if you're just moving it around back and forth just sits right on top and your cart pretty much just rolls around it's got nice big rubber wheels on it and there you have it PK grill all right um, I'm going to use this, like I said, mostly for uh, grilling steaks. I might try it out, do some videos using it as a smoker, but I mainly got it so that I can carry it around with me when I want to go um, to uh, tailgating or park or something else, carrying it with me wherever I go. It's easy enough to fit in the back of the uh, van or my SUV or pickup truck. Um, makes it really simple. So a lot easier than trying to carry around a uh, uh, Weber or a, a smaller Kamado that are really heavy in ceramic. So and that's it, guys. Like I said, 10 15 minutes to put together. They're made in America and Arkansas. They've been around since 1955. Can't wait to start doing some cooks on it. Check out PK Grills. I'll put a link below 
to the link in the for uh, Amazon. This silver one is actually it's not under three hundred dollars anymore, but it's still um, at three hundred and seventy dollars, which is still a good sixty seventy bucks off what they normally cost. They're normally four fifty, so that's still a good deal at three hundred and seventy dollars. Thanks for watching. Check us out on uh, Facebook and our group and our page, Fire and Water Cooking. Check out the uh, Fire and Water Cooking podcast anywhere you get podcasts. And make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you again on the next Fire and Water Cooking video.